All right. <clears throat> so today, I want to expand. I need. I need to continue working on the I am GUI, and expand and refine it. So the first part, I expanded it in the offline to add a couple of other uh, structs components to uh, this. I moved the physics out. I haven't committed anything because there's a couple of ideas that have been brewing in my mind that I want to kind of do to make things a bit easier. And the first one of those was that under this right now for I'm GUI, I have a lot of um, I have a lot of work going on inside of here, which realistically I shouldn't have. What it should be is it should just be like, it just should just take in the component, in this case, for position 3D, and then just render it. Like, so just uh, this part, that's it. If rather, what it should be doing instead rather, is I should rather be in the registration, have like a larger uh, function, which goes through the sorting and determining if pools are exist and then go into this so that instead of for each component doing the entire like pool search every time I go through the pools once and if it's a pool that I'm paying attention to then do stuff and then carry on uh, so I have to go through the pools a few less times generally so <clears throat> That's going to be the first change I'm going to do. That also means I no longer really require this. Uh, so let me kind of put this over here to the side. And this, so it's going to be, instead of this, it's going to be uh, full position 3D. It's just going to take a struct position 3D. That's all it's going to require. Can it be const? Uh, no, it can't be const. Just in case it's something we want to be able to modify. Mm, yeah. That's what I want to do. First of all, we'll kind of put this here. It's just these three things. Simple enough. For the moment, we'll put that. Mm. I need to include that. Uh, There we go. So that should give the same thing for the moment. Right about here. Yeah, just any entity. Yeah, position this one, this should be modifiable. Okay, and then what I want to do here is change it to be like we have the one the one function. Um, this is the thing that takes in these like that okay and then how this works is we go through hmm.
How would this work? With the double pool. Let's press I. We'll go through. We'll go through it like this, and then how this works is. We'll have okay. We need to here, at the least. I need to know about what am I doing? I'm in the position. Position component three D. Okay, that's how we're rolling through instead. Auto star. We'll do a dynamic cast here. Uh, into faux position 3D pool, star that, time by I, like that. 3D pool, okay. If that then we go through the rest of this process where we say, you know, um, get the offset and then this. Hmm. Okay, for the moment, we'll just kind of leave it like that. We need to include this here for the moment for this separator do I just always add it to the start of them I might it might be just simpler okay scrap that becomes that Okay, and then we still have like, and then we'd have, then we'd roll for the other one here, and so on and so forth. And that also means we don't need as many of these functions flying around. I can give one function for components, one function for the resources, one function for the loaders. That simplifies a number of things, which should be good hmm. to my mind anyways for the moment we'll have to have this though so we have that we scrap these we no longer require this this is that and that mm-hmm we have a ray for that, yeah. Okay, uh, the other one, I only have one other that's being used right now, it'll be physics. Which I think I only kind of brought over, but I didn't actually get to finish up yet. Yeah, okay, it's like this. Okay. This is not physics, this is position.
Um, it's not bad. Uh, um, yeah, we don't need those templates anymore here. effort into all of this because it's ultimately just for development debugging. Okay. Okay, we've got a collision shape, we've got a rich body, the pool, the pool, the registrar. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. But this will be inside of that instead. As well as inside of that. Okay. At this point, so first of all, make sure it works. It's got to be pretty. It better be pretty. Great. Uh, entity list. Already. Okay, that's the rigid body, so it's there. Same thing for collision, right? There it is. There's the stuff. All right. Good. Good, 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 good. Now I change over. I want to change the registration to only take up in three. It's so going to take in pointers to these uh, more these collect these functions that collect or collate everything in the library, rather than uh, multiple, because that was not going to work out in the long run. So got that. Get rid of this. Don't need that. One less thing to bring in. Let's get rid of the arrays. Okay. So simulation. Registrar, here we go. One function. And that, and that. Oh. That, 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 okay. These are no longer vectors, so these are simplified even more. Just three pointers. Uh, nope, nope, and nope. It's not an entity, it's a component. Function. Function for component types. Put 
places all that. Uh, get rid of pointer, get rid of pointer, component function, resource function, loader function. Right, and then onto the registrar side, the source side. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, move that over. Simplify this. Simplify this. That, that, and that. Scrap these. Source function that for each of these. Uh, hmm, that's not quite going to work. We don't have to go through a set. We only have to go through one e up to one each in one each position. And this is much. This is actually faster to roll through as well, memory wise, because I don't have to go to functions deep. Okay, if greater dot component function, then do this. Resource function. And that, okay. I'm rolling up back up here. Return. I don't need this. This is all very basic operation here. It just returns that. Comparison of three pointers. So that makes this one uh, a lot simpler. That means let's uh, find out the locations where this is going to break. Right about here. So rather than this, 
Give that. Give that. And then we have a null pointer for the last one. This means we can get rid of the arrays. Give that. Simplified. Lovely. Same thing on the position side. Sure, this is still working just fine. Camera, render, mesh. That one's the rigid body. Great. Go to six. Perfect. Okay, this means as well. I had made a cut. One of the things I had done was I removed these template functions and move them up to like this. But I as that I could use them in the, uh, more places. But then with the simplification, I don't really use these here. So I can revert that. And in here, put this back. Put that. Get rid of this. This is already way too many items in one place. Okay. Uh, that kind of leaves. I need to do the bring up register the raise. Okay, how exactly am I doing this? Like, do I want to call it like this? <clears throat> I might, because if I'm bringing these things in as like blank DLLs or shared objects, then I don't actually know what the entry point names will be. So I should probably establish. Uh, some kind of common pattern to them. So it probably wouldn't make sense to say like uh, for libraries other than this bring up application be like the name of the library or kind of plus registered or just register and deregister. That would make the most sense. Unless I actually want to use the name like so foe underscore I might want to do that or register so probably it's probably something along the lines of like register something easy and simple like snake case foe visits I'm doing or whatever the the library name is something like that that's always going to be the entry point and removal entry point for uh, things that would actually make the most sense, wouldn't it? So if I was go back to the physics registration, fo physics, I'm GUI register. This is fo position register. I am, yeah, see this. Nah, yeah, no. That and that. Get rid of the elements part. Registering. The functionality of this, which is almost exclusively IMGUI items, that's fine. 
and then the same thing would be like for the other ones for like yaml and what resource whatever so in here what was it source no 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 this isn't is it is there just uh, this is registrar it's called what on an um Pro graphics resource register functionality mm hmm It would be like just register faux graphics resource, which would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, I won't quite do it yet here. Um, I'll fix that up. So register elements registration. still going great it's still going great great yeah uh, none of these others really have anything yet but that does false loaded yeah because it's already loaded so it doesn't need to be loading there's one ref count and no use count see I, that's a little bit broken So not quite there, not quite there yet. Hmm. So we have namespace here. I need to include three types I have here camera, render, state, and armature state. Okay, close that, close that, close that. Open this up. This is the, what I need. This is what I'm bringing in. that just that okay we don't need to keep that stuff across this is literally just called camera
See if we can dynamic cast it to a camera because it's uh, two items, isn't it? Because um, it's based off of that. Turns into this, yeah. Can't quite do it right from that. Some kind of unique pointer, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. What are you? What are you? Unique pointer. If this is that, if it's camera, run with that. Otherwise, the last thing is render state. I need to do that, I need to end that, and that, and I need to check for null pointers. I need to have a case, uh, case that just, if no functions are given, then don't register anything. Makes sense. Mesh, nope, nope, nope. Not working. Boo. Oh, because I, I, don't, I don't even use this, do I yet? No. Nice, uh, except for the fact that I'm missing the separator. Otherwise, nice, nice, nice. Okay, mesh, O E, O E, O D. Okay, that's good. Mm. I need to change that to be, I need to change those pointers to actually be like the full hex thing. I think. Got that there. I want your state there. Camera there. So near state is two. Okay. Which would be about about there, yeah. Um
probably be make those modifiable in the future. Or basically right about now, realistically. Hmm. Ah, uh, soon. I don't think I have anything that has armature state right now. It would have been anything with animation that doesn't quite have right now. Render mesh. I have render state. Camera. Hmm. Interesting, is this actually not supposed to be... Am I missing this? Temp floor thing? Unless it's supposed to be this. Just didn't get loaded in for some reason. Ah. Not great. Okay, let's get some of this started, uh, uh, committed, because it's growing quite a lot. So if I can find simulation stuff here. Almost. I need to actually double check resource base registrar. I need an error code for... Functions given. Okay. That go to error code, do that here. Result case that. Check it, that's fine. Mm, probably do the same thing here, just an easy early out. All right, we can get some test going on in here. What am I doing? Would I just test like this? Perhaps? I don't really know. i just basically be testing the registrar. Making sure I'm giving real functions. Hmm. I'll test something. I'll get something tested. Which I'll do in a separate thing, actually. First of all, let's make sure. What else we got? This. Mm
Okay. parallel to the registration framework for functionality. The hmm. using I'm GUI without the final application. Okay, that's a part of it. Then we can add um, Okay, no, not quite this. We want this and this though. Um, but we wouldn't want this one quite yet. Let me stage that. Okay, it's not quite gonna work. Can I register? Stage this. that stage these mm, I don't want I don't want to un, I don't want to unstage that okay I need Position I'm GUI physics. Yes, I need these. What's this? Oh crap. I need the okay, hold on. I need these items for I need to fix up something from earlier with that. Back to this. So physics, as I'm GUI stuff, position, I'm GUI stuff. And then we roll on down to here. Oh. I need to implement the registrar here and here. So another fix up. Registrar elements, not quite. No. Okay, these, yes. Okay, I need to update these. I don't even have them at all right now, do I? Yeah, okay, no, I don't quite have those yet. Just draw a fix up. Okay, it's just. Mm, five. 
Okay. Squash and fix up. Okay. Uh, Okay, I was doing physics and position again. Physics position down to here. Or no, let's do one at a time. So just physics. Thing for position. Add this for those items. We'll add I'm going to register elements. Okay, do I want to rename this? Call it register. Change that back down to register. Okay. An application, it's called this register. We change this register. I'm GUI. Register mm, implementations. I don't know. I don't really know. <sighs> register I'm GUI, deregister I'm GUI. I need something a bit more descriptive than this. Because I don't want to... I 
How do I do it down here? I have register basic functionality. Register basic I'm GUI. Just register. Just register. Just register them. Okay. We'll do it that way. this we have this um, scrap these and this stage the whole thing This, 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 this. Right. Add that, add that, add that, add that. Come on. Okay, register that. Register all this. There's everything except the bring up stuff, okay. So we'll leave just the bring up stuff and these items. Oh, right. If I don't, um, I don't need these to be permanently located in memory anymore, so I can just leave them in a larger vector. That's true. Okay. I can kind of collate them make it a little bit easier. So don't, right. Much like in this, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That. Change it down to that. We don't need memory anymore. Same thing here. Now that I have a bit of a better idea how I'm, I'm GUI is works. I don't need to do this anymore. Okay. Yeah, true. How do I do this? Okay, what do I do with it? Do 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 do. Hmm. It's not const. There we go. Okay, how's this work? Right. Okay, why not? 
IT is going through to these, so that. Whoops. Yeah, okay. The same thing on this side. Oh yes, when I'm creating a new one, I don't want to create a new one. It's just, I'm just creating another one of these. Just that. That's not going to work. This one should, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Update these a little bit. I need this for entity. Yes, I do. ID right there. Okay. Okay. What what did I modify here? Modify this to display, yeah. We're upon selecting. Do, 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 do. 
this. So we add that, we add this. Bring up registration. Component types we have here. Camera. Okay, and, oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I realized one thing I probably have going on back in the physics is that this has got the wrong header guards. Here and here. Is that something here? No, just these two. Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Physics fix up. Okay, what's going on here? These are just empty. That makes sense. This is um, modify because I have these things. Yeah, okay. Head back six. Okay, physics. Fix that up. Okay. It's been about an hour. Got a number of neat little things done. Render component, camera component. Uh, registering different sets of functionality in the same program. Yeah, that's something I need to do. The registration should return an error code. Hmm. Number of items to do. Okay. Uh, one thing, actually, that's true. One thing I probably do want to do is to implement the command console. So this will be something that would allow me to, A, get logger output in something other than the terminal. So I'll actually have like a window I can put somewhere that'll print this stuff out there. As well as allow me to easily enter text to call commands from that old command runner that I implemented but I don't have any functionality in it yet because I had no way to enter stuff easily but now that I do I'll actually be able to start adding commands to this and be able to use it and, and, and it'll be good it will be good so let's do that for the second half of this Command runner. Yes, I could act. Hmm. I could almost. I could turn this I am GUI almost into its own thing because it only really interacts. Oh no, it interacts through a couple of things. Yeah. I was just thinking maybe kind of hide most of it behind this, but ah, it's not really worth it. All right, interesting. Um, how do we do this? Okay, I'll base it off of this for the moment. So, mm -hmm. I 
and console Just public and the base it's also public of full log sync so I can easily sync stuff in here I also need to include full log sync lovely or I could just base it off of this um, max entries yeah I can yeah yeah that's even simpler there we go uh, developer console. And I'll change this to developer console Okay, these are all public items. So what I would have to do is I need to public. I still need the, um, I'm GUI based, don't I? Yeah. So I probably should have not have removed that quite yet. Okay, I'm pretty sure that does exist. Thank you. What's in data? Right, the... Uh, yeah. months ago wow I really need to get I really need to speed this up simple um open yeah okay so they'll have the same usual set of three items that it'll get the that stuff I need custom UI as well um,
use this as a basis for the moment. We do want to use a table. Yeah. whatever two or three like um what items do i get out of the developer console Log level and message. And cat. Okay. Category. Log level. Oh, that's a bit of an interesting thing, isn't it? don't have time so right now it'd be three it's three this three uh, columns I guess resizable I don't know Nothing for the moment. So first is category. Clipper. Uh, the total count, which is like what? I'll be able to get max entries. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is private. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, so this has just been kind of running into there for a long time, uselessly, I guess. Eight from eight months ago. I need to change this to be like publicly or usable. I mean, Yeah, this makes a bit more sense. Uh, okay, begin. It's, uh, what's it, protected. How many entries we've got? That's great. just be able to display those items so entries index It's a string view, okay. How do I convert the level into text from this? Okay, it's just standard string something or other, okay.
run through that all the time. That basically that's kind of it. Then we end table, then we end. Okay. We include that. We're going to go put this straight into here. much to it. Well, I haven't put the input box yeah, yet. So there's that. Here? No. Up here a little bit more. Editor mode. Here we go. Uh, we've got this, this, and this. So that we'll add Missing undefined reference to this. Okay. I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay. And where did this go? Whoops. Just default. Okay. Need the V table. The V table. Oh, I hate C plus plus and it's V table. Like I want. I mean, I want to use a V table, but I don't like having to constantly having to export the entire class to do it, because then all this stuff gets caught in the way. And of course, like exporting something inside of this export class breaks MSVC, so I need to rework for that. Vtable is mildly useful. I mean, it's a lot more useful if you just don't want to think about things, but then I find that by not thinking about things, I get caught on something later down the line, which makes it harder to deal with because it's already embedded in a bunch of other stuff by then okay this is going to break on msvc for sure right now but hey at least i have something look at that beautiful uh, i don't know why that's so massive shouldn't really be okay but hey you know it's it works a little bit okay now i need to add
If someone wants to type in a 512 character long something or other, they are welcome to do so. So we'll actually, no, we'll just do and that and size of that. Imagine this is a uh, kind of a case where Nope, it's every time you enter key. Dang it, that's not good. A no and then that, yeah. Okay. Does it save across? Yeah, at least it's saved across. I just need to figure out how to activate it when it comes along. Okay, how do I determine when it's actually, like, to put something in? Okay, hold on. That may be how we do it. If we have, where is it? After this, say callback uh, completion. Sounds about right. Then we can add some kind of callback, which is what? What does it look like? How does this work? Okay. Okay. 
what's in here? A lot of stuff. But... Hmm. Completion. If that, then what do I want? Event char, press key, buff. I want to read the buffer. And what do we return exactly? Hmm? And we return just zero. Okay. See what that does. I need to fix that as well. Nope, that doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Let's just type something in. Okay. Change that to be that. Enter on that. Nothing. Nothing. Ever. Okay. What is this supposed to be? I must have it wrong. Call back on pressing tab for completion. Ha oh. Okay. Enter returns. True. There we go. That's what the uh, that's what I was looking for. So now what I want to do is the developer console. I want to run the command on. Input buffer.
Okay. Let's see what we can do about this. It's not exactly what I was looking for, for it to just expand. history that's fine okay Okay, uh, what if I just say it's always 300, why? Hmm? Sorry, what's going on here? Crap. I put text in somewhere. I don't know where. There it is. Just selecting it is enough to just break it. Callback completion or... Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have history implemented yet. Okay, so I need to implement that myself. That's why. It's just going to keep expanding, isn't it? Um, okay, okay, okay. Okay, can I kind of say that, you know, this column uh, with our height?
actually know how to do that. So you put it like 500 wide, 200 high. How's that work? Hmm. Right. How do I make this not crazy? If I set no scroll bar, does that resize the first element or the second element? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a little crazy. I'm going to put this first. Uh, developer console, put this. And then we're going to move backwards from the end. I'm moving backwards. I'm going to do it in reverse order. So I'll index equals n entries dot size minus one minus index. Um, Doesn't exist. Continue. Skip it. Um, I don't want to do the next row. And then continue. So ju no, just do the next row regardless, and then yeah. Great. Uh, right. Okay. Let me guess. It's. Okay, I need a constant buffer in here, I guess. Of some sort. So I'm just guessing it just got it was just filled with garbage and that's what I put in all right away. It doesn't automatically clear it. I just got lucky earlier.
Okay, so it starts off with a bunch of zeros. And it's giving it's starting me off with this stuff instead. Mm hmm Okay, one thing I do actually want to look at is is this in reverse order like I wanted it? Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, we just need to figure this out. So one thing I'll probably want to do is say, hey, you know, it's a uh, character of A, or It just instantly, if backspace is running at the speed of uh, the frames per second, which means that it'll clear out like a thousand characters a second. That's hilarious. But input's still the usual slowness, but yeah. Unless it's just clearing everything every, regardless. What happens if I reach the end? I don't know how many it'll be, 512. Yeah, it's just it's just running <laughs> that really quickly. I would like it to try to remain, keep focus. Okay. Mm. Okay, back to the demo.
The last item. Okay, so we set... Else if... So that it'll get, it'll catch up the next one through. Then, whoops, then we set it to false. It's just not... It should mm, stop getting the focus. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm not gonna really be too bothered about this. Not yet, anyways. Right, that's broken because of this now. All right. Throw that up at least. Before I get here, I'm pretty sure there's other things that are about to break. But for the moment, I want to export these without exporting this, but I also need the V table. Okay. Uh, export class V table, shared library. How do I export selected methods and the V table? Okay, well, Stack Overflow people are not useful as usual. Arguing about some... Mm. They're just telling me to export the whole class, which I don't really want to do. sure how to do this then how does this work log sync log function because okay I'm here because I have these two things all right so I go there I'll go to that and then that I may want to just change so log sync is 
brought in to I register sinks here. So get a bunch of those pointers. Hmm. Might be better. Change this to more like a C style kind of thing where I have the two function pointers. I pass those in rather than having. Again, I keep running into issues with the C things with a larger distributed application across many multiple libraries. And I keep running into problems like this that just really make me regret using a lot of the C++ stuff. And I like every, I hate this. Every day I'm using slightly less and less of their of, of its stuff. I use its STL, fine, that's great. But like the actual like V table and inheritance stuff, like it's just always more trouble than it's worth. Every time. It's just it's just not it's just not great. Or not as great as it should be. Okay. For the moment, I'm going to like just break MSVC by putting this as like, like as it is right here. That, 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 that. I'm frustrated. I'm going to put it in, and then I'm going to fix it in another commit for next time because it's already two hours. That's just test, that's just test, okay. quickly have a look at what pipelines are showing pipelines are showing what mostly pass on Linux is fine Mac OS has got problems dealing with undefined symbols for this And what about Windows? Windows. Static is fine. What about Windows Shared? It's still going. Okay, well, Windows is still going. But Mac OS, what's it complaining about? Why? What's happening with... WSI, okay, close the whole lat, libs, WSI, libs, I am GUI, it's complaining about WSI git mouse, so basically these functions, basically all the functions in here, content scale should close, I mean, they're declared here, yes, they're declared here, but they're not defined until here. Oh no, does it have to actually be defined to be linked? It's trying to link these things at low... Oh no. Mac OS is trying to link these things. 
when it's trying to trying to make this instead of waiting until like the final application to link things together. Dang. It's using that. So if I switch over to MSVC right now, that's still fine. Okay, I'm betting that this is where I'm going to need I'm going to need some kind of loader mechanism for macOS and probably Windows because it's probably using a similar pattern of trying to link things. A bit too early. So imagine GNU linker can just wait until like linking the final product because these functions aren't defined at this point when I link it in. All, right, all I have is just faux WSI. They're not defined and then actual like symbols be grabbed until GLFW3. And the Linux linker is waiting until I'm actually linking it all together as an executable, but macOS is not. And I'm going to bet. Come on, MSVC, hurry up and build. Okay, it looks like it broke. I can figure out where the error is. Here we go. I uh, member of DLL interface class may not be. Right, I can't export things already in an exported class. I have to abandon C++ inheritance. I just have to. It's just too many shortcomings. All right, that'll be for another day, not today. All right, cheers.